Hello guys, this is Ray Chen. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, please click like my video, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell icon. Also, if you you know leave some comments. So today I'm gonna talk about the difference between LP and GP, and also the four types of uh, investment you know companies. Uh, you have the um, angel investors. Uh, uh, you have the private equity investors, and you have the investment banker, and you also have the um, uh, venture capital. Okay, so today uh, we're gonna start with uh, uh, top first. Okay, this is not a financial advisory. Uh, if you need any help, you know, in regard to financial uh, investment, you need to seek the help of the professional. Uh, so uh, this is just for you know entertainment per entertainment uh, for purpose only. Okay. So first, we're gonna talk about general partner. So general partner is the company or the person that's gonna be doing the investment, that's gonna be doing the work, okay? So usually general partner uh, either do not come up with the money to invest in the project, or they only come up with a small amount of money. Uh, so, and on the other hand, we have the limited partner. So the limited partner is the person that's gonna come up with the money, right? So they're gonna come up with the money to invest in the whatever investment that you are investing. And uh, the limited partner usually they have limited liability uh, because they're only investing the money. So um, as far as the pay structure, usually um, the limited partner, uh, usually the general partner get paid something called two and the 20. What does that mean is uh, when the, let's say, uh, I'm gonna give you an example to, to, to see how it works, okay? Let's say if the limited partner invested $6 million, right? Uh, $6 million, and uh, after a year, uh, the, you know, you know, the company, the investment made $1 million. So in that case, the general partner would get $6 million times 2%, 2% which is the, uh, you know, the management fee, and uh, then, with that one hundred dollars, uh, uh, with that one million dollars, the general partner will get twenty percent of the one million dollars. So if you add that together, uh, that's about you know thirty two million. So I mean three hundred twenty thousand, not thirty two million, three hundred twenty thousand dollars. So in this case, with the one million dollar that's you know profit that's realized, the general partner would get three hundred twenty thousand dollars, and the limited partner would get six hundred eighty thousand dollars. And uh, of course, uh, with the you know with the split for the one million dollars profit, uh, the return has to be high enough. Let's say if there's the returns were low, then you, the the general partner probably do not get you know. So here's the difference, you know between so what I just went over is the difference between general partner and the limited partner, and also you know how are the uh, general partner usually get paid. So now let's talk about uh, the different type of uh, uh, investment companies. So basically you have angel investors, which is the first stage of uh, investors. Usually they invest in small companies that you know probably doesn't have anything yet, doesn't even have a product. They may, they may just have an idea. So usually uh, the investment amount in that is very you know, limited, maybe you know, anywhere from 50,000 to you know, 500,000. And uh, um, so they may in, in exchange in exchange for that they may get ten percent twenty percent, and uh, for those type of company you know startup is basically they invest in startup right for those startup company usually they may get on the you know uh, become public traded in like maybe five years. Uh, I'll give you an example for example when uh, uh, Google first started, uh, the the founders they didn't have money right so they went to talk to their professor. Uh, I think the prof professor gave them like a check for like a hundred thousand or something like that. So that professor would be a, an angel investor because at that time, you know, Google is non-existent. They just got to start it, right? There's not much to go by. So in this case, it's, it's really a lot about art rather than, you know, science because you have nothing to look for. You have no company to evaluate. So at this point, the, uh, you know, the professor, all they know that the, the, the founder of Google, they're a good student. So he trusts that they can make a good company, right? So that is the... Uh, the angel investing, uh, angel investor. So the next step, once the company you know become uh, started to operate and they have the product and they have the servers, uh, so at that time the venture capital would come in. So the venture capital, uh, they 
they would come in and invest the money. And uh, because at this time, there's still some risk, right? Because the company hasn't really grown too big yet. But uh, at least you, know, you have something to look at. You can see, you know, there's a product or there's a service and you can see how the customer, you know, like the product and service. So at this stage, uh, the investment also varies, maybe from anywhere from uh, 500,000 to 5 million. So, and the, you know, and as far as the percentage, you know, that's depending on, you know, what everybody agrees to. So after the uh, private equity, uh, no, after the venture capital, then the next stage is the private equity. So for private equity companies, they most of the time invest in company that's already, uh, you know, grown. They already have a stable business model. They already have a stable income. So at this time, uh, the um, private equity company is basically just investing in a company that needed cash to grow faster, right? And uh, most likely in this stage, the company may be, you know, be, you know, become IPO, uh, become a public traded company in like maybe three years, three to five years. And also for the private equity, it's also maybe a similar time frame. So after the uh, private equity uh, company, then you have the, um, the investment banking. So the investment company, uh, okay, so the, uh, I'll give you an example for private equity. So private equity, you know, there's many big companies like Blackstone. For example, Blackstone, they pay, in 2007, they, they paid uh, uh, $2.6 uh, 2, 2 billion to purchase Hilton, the Hilton uh, franchise, the entire company. So in that case, another business of what the private company does is a, a leverage buyout. So what does leverage buyout means is basically they're, uh, you, they're using the money to buy to buy a company outright. So it's kind of similar like a buy when you're buying a home. For example, let's say if you're buying a home that's one million dollars, right? You you have two hundred thousand dollars of a down payment. So and the rest of eight hundred thousand dollars you get a loan from the bank. So it's the same thing when when you're talking about uh, leverage buyout. So basically, instead of buying the home, then you would be buying a company. Um, so that's you know uh, about a private equity. And for that, let me go back to the last, uh, uh, last one. The last one is uh, uh, investment banking. So let's say, you know, the private equity company, they already invested a lot of money, a whole bunch of money into this company and the company is running well, you know, it's got a lot of uh, good high revenue and it's ready to be, you know, to, to get on the market, to IPO, right? So in that case, a private, a, a um, investment banking company, would, they would come in to, you know, to help to, to straight out all the financing, you know, to straight out all the uh, tax, the, 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 the accounting, to make sure everything looks good, make sure the income qualifies, you know, and to make sure the, you know, every, or the, the legal aspect, you know, fit, you know, um, that um, complies with the federal uh, regulation. So, and then they would uh, uh, pre-sell, you know, pre-sell the stock, and they, they would have the, the founder or the CEO go, you know, tour around the country or the world to talk to the potential investors and to try to sell the stock. So once once the IPO is finished, uh, depending on how much stock, you know, the investment company is able to help this company to, to sell, then the investment company, they get a percentage of that sale as their um, uh, uh, service fee. Um, so yeah, so today I pretty much talked about, you know, the difference between a limited partner and the general partner and the four types of uh, investment companies, you know, the angel investors, venture capital, uh, private equity, and uh, investment banking. Okay, so this is Ray Chen. So this is a short session today. Uh, thank you for uh, watching my video. Um, feel free to click my, uh, like my video, subscribe to my channel, and then leave a comment if you have any comment, and also click on the bell icons. That way, you know, when I get any new video, you will be notified. Okay, until next time.